hello everyone, my name is Brian and uh, as you can see in this tutorial we're gonna make the player shoot some bullets. Uh, this is by far not the only way to achieve this and um, this is just my preferred method of doing things. And as you can see uh, with the end results right here it works perfectly fine. So let's go. I just want to have a quick mention about my game on Steam right now. It's not available yet, but it will be soon. It's called Out of Orbit. And if you like space games, survival games, resource management games, shooters, uh, this might be the game for you. So I would really appreciate it if you check it out. And I would really appreciate it if you put it on your wish list. The link to the Steam store page will be uh, available in the description down the video. Thanks for that. And uh, let's go to the tutorial. I just opened up and made a brand new Game Maker Studio project. Um, as you can see, I have two sprites here, one called S Bullet, the other one called S Player. I have two objects, um, one of course called O Bullet, which is the bullet, and the other one is O Player, which is the player. Uh, I also have a room, uh, as you can see right here, and in that room I just have the O Player object placed. Okay, so. The method that I used before for uh, a player shooting a bullet would be that I would place every piece of code that was for the bullet inside the bullet and every piece of code that was for the player inside the player. Um, and still that could be a very reasonable uh, way to do things, uh, but for me uh, I found a better way. So basically no code is in the uh, bullet object at all. It's all happening in the OBJ player, in the O player uh, object this is the code that I wrote about it and everything is happening inside the step event um, okay so the next thing that we need to do we need some piece of code that triggers the bullet to come out the player uh, in this case I used a left mouse click a pressed uh, you can achieve that by using the mouse check button press command or code and that works perfectly fine the next thing that you need to do is set up a variable uh, in this case I call it the bullet and combined with that variable is going to be a instance um, that instance in this case is a bullet and um, after you have set that variable you can use that variable and give it some properties and as you can see on the third column right here I have some um, properties but the first one is going to be the bullet speed so this is the speed the bullets gonna cross from point A to point B in this case 8 uh, the bullet direction um, you can use you can use point direction to achieve this the X and Y are of course the X and Y position of the player the mouse underscore X mouse underscore Y are the mouse positions on the screen um, so basically when you left click uh, the bullet will travel at speed 8 towards mouse uh, position. I also made sure that the image angle of the bullet instance will be matching the direction, uh, which can be seen right here. And that is all to it. That really is it. It's really easy. Um, the, this piece of code will also be available in the description, so if you want to copy and paste it right away and get on your way, that's totally fine for me. Um, I'm just going to show you uh, an example of the method right here inside of my own game. Uh, as you can see right here you can use uh, any type of gun, you can shoot every every type of gun you would like and uh, it works perfectly. Um, and it's all made using this very same technique. Uh, I would like to thank you for listening to this tutorial and uh, I hope it helped a little bit and I'm going to wish you the best of luck with your own games. Uh, have a nice day, bye.